in this video we are going to discuss how to implement the virtualization using oracle virtual box for that uh, here i am not going to use any sandbox environment so i am going to use oracle virtual box okay so you have you can download it uh, for free it is open source you can download and you can in install this particular software okay so uh, no it's very easy uh, to configure uh, you have to run through the wizards so for creating a virtual machine okay i require the oracle virtual box software and then i require the ubuntu operating system so for that you can just go to ubuntu.com there you have an option called download okay there we have to download 20.04 lts that ubuntu desktop version okay since i have already downloaded this particular operating system image i am not going to download it for again okay so you can download it it will take around 2.58 gb okay you can download this particular image and then you can proceed with the oracle virtual box software okay for uh, continuing this first you have to create a new virtual machine so click new and immediately it will ask you for the name so i'll give demo uh, oracle virtual uh, machine okay so that is what i'm going to give i'm going to give on this board. and here the operating system which we are going to select is the linux and there i'm going to choose the ubuntu 64 bit since i'm using 64 bit i'm selecting 64 bit okay and click next and it will ask for minimum the ram size so minimum size should be 1 gb that is 1024 mb so i'm going to use the same okay so click next and uh, defaultly it requires 10 gb for installing its operating system so 7 gb will be occupied 6 to 7 GB will be occupied for its operating system. So 10 GB is required, the default size. I'm going to create a virtual hard disk. So I'm not going to use my hard disk. From the partition, I'm going to create a virtual hard disk. So click create. And there you have an option called VDI, virtual box disk image. Okay, so I'm going to do that. Click next. And my allocation of memory will be going to be the dynamically allocated. So click next and if you want to change this 10 GB you can change it here or later also you can do. So I am going to stick with the 10 GB. So click create and now you can see demo underscore OVM is created here. Okay. But we cannot proceed with the same configuration. You can see here this is the configuration. So if you want to you know uh, install the operating system you have to do some modifications that can be done using the settings okay click settings and i'm not going to change all these options directly go to system and there i'm going to change my boot order okay let uh, the optical and the hard disk be the priority and i will remove the floppy because i don't have any floppy disk and you know, defaultly it will be enabled the enable io apic is enabled okay please check it whether it is enabled or not and uh, you just go to acceleration sorry and the processor okay let it be one core and uh, this is okay fine okay so this is all you need uh, display and uh, straight away you have to go to the storage okay click storage and here if you see the controller id is empty that is your where you will load your operating system image okay so what you have to do you have to load your operating system so select this and just go to the attributes optical drive click it and load your operating system so this is the operating system which i have downloaded ubuntu 20.04 at the stop version which is 64 bit okay you can see that iso file that is the image file you have to load it and rest of the configurations let it be we are not going to change it click ok and you can see now it is changed and uh, the optical uh, no drive the operating system is now loaded so what you have to do you have to click start so the installation will take a uh, few minutes 
probably 10 to 15, 15 minutes will be uh, consumed okay first it will ask for the startup disk okay so i'm going to select this one okay yeah since i had uh, many uh, check for everything i have maximized the screen for your reference it will check for the errors or the default uh, configurations after that you have to follow the basic operating system installation It will take some time to uh, load the attributes. So it is getting loaded. Yes. Okay, so here you have to select the English and I'm going to install the Ubuntu. That is our objective. So install Ubuntu. So we are going to you know, uh, implement the virtualization using Oracle VirtualBox. So one operating system, sorry, one system, two operating system. Okay, so that is the thing. And we are going to use the English US keyboard layout. And I'm going to use the minimal installation and I'm not going to download any updates okay because I'm just going to uh, no, uh, install the operating system and check whether two operating systems can be used under a single configuration so that is the virtualization so I'm going to click continue this will reduce my time Or if you are a user who is going to use this particular operating system, then you can go for normal installation and download updates while installing Ubuntu. You can go with the default uh, no, option settings.
and now it will ask us the like the what is the installation type we require you can go with erase disk and install ubuntu we are not going to uh, no uh, partition or we are not going to install in the existing image so we will go with the erase disk and click install now And it will ask us yes continue and select your region let it be the Kolkata continue And it will ask me the name. I will give some password. Click continue. And it will take few minutes to complete its copying and installation. So little patience is required here. Yeah, now installation is complete. Click restart now. You have to press enter. Ubuntu is getting started. Our operating system is booting now. Yes, so this is the user I have created. And let me give the password. I will skip all these steps. And I will give no. So it will take some time to uh, no, uh, get it done. Yeah. Okay. So now you got your uh, no environment. Uh, if you want to check whether your operating system is working fine or not, you just click this, go to terminal, the terminal is here, the 
yes now you can check okay by giving some simple commands so i'm going to give ls command which will list all the directories yeah now it is listing all the directories so we can you know uh, confirm that you know uh, our uh, operating system is installed successfully so uh, how this virtualization is working uh, no now uh, you can see in a single hardware i am using one single machine where i can run two operating system so with the same physical hardware configuration what i am going to do i am running two operating system so one is the ubuntu operating system and another one you can see here uh, the the other one which i am using here this is a windows operating system so this is uh, now how we will uh, now implement the uh, virtualization so here there is an option okay like you can give power off and uh, i'll just suspend the machine click power off and so that the machine will be shut down okay yeah now it is powered off you can see it is powered off if you want to use it again you just right click and click start or you can select here and you can click start so uh, the next for the next time it will not uh, no uh, ask for the installation it will just boot the operating system within some oh no 5 to 10 seconds and uh, it will log into your particular operating system environment so this is how you can install multiple operating system using the oracle virtual box manager okay so i hope uh, you have understood uh, now how to implement the uh, virtualization using oracle virtual box thank you